Monday. Recognize the Republican I, leader. I, thank you very much, uh, Senator Alexander and uh, Chairman Feinstein. Ms. Secretary, welcome. I'm here to focus your attention on the Paducah gaseous diffusion plant, which, as I believe you know, has been enriching uranium for 60 years. It happens to be the economic engine of uh, far western uh, Kentucky. Many people think of Kentucky as a coal state, which we are, uh, but we're also a nuclear state. The plant has 1,200 employees. Uh, it is um, in the process of uh, closing down. There are, however, uh, 40,000 cylinders of depleted uranium at Paducah, which are typically referred to in the business as tails. If they were re-enriched, uh, re it would be a profitable venture. There are, this, these are government-owned resources, uh, highly valued, uh, stored in a lot which could be sold to create revenue for the government. And in the meantime, uh, happily enough for Western Kentuckians, keep 1,200 people uh, from collecting unemployment. So a revenue raiser for the government and an avoidance of unemployment for 1,200 people. Are you familiar with the uh, uh, tails issue at the uranium enrichment plant? Yes, I am. It's my understanding that the department, at least at the moment, does not have a current plan for re-enriching those tails at Paducah. Is that correct? That's correct. Kentucky's unemployment rate is uh, right at 10 percent. We cannot afford to lose one more job, let alone 1,200. If there is the potential for DOE to save these jobs, would you not think that would be worth pursuing? We are certainly very concerned about any job impacts and actions we take, um, but there's other issues that I'd be happy to talk to you about having to do with the, you know, we've made, there's another commitment for uh, uranium uh, uh, in another uranium enrichment plate, and we are bound, we cannot release uh, more than 10 percent of the uranium market because there are, for example, the uranium mining industry in the United States would be affected. And so we're bound to only release 10 percent or less of what is ever on the market. And so we have commitments uh, in 2000. 11 and 2012 for another enrichment process going on. And so mm -hmm. we've made that commitment, and so we have to try to figure out how beyond that what to do about, about uh, the Paducah plant. But we are certainly very aware and very sympathetic to this plight. Well, let's assume we don't do that. Then the question is, uh, do we have the funds in the 12 budget to safely and securely idle the plant after it closes and returns to the control of the government? Well, what we need to do is work with you on trying to figure out a path forward uh, for uh, these jobs. Uh, this is now, I have to be candid that the gases diffusion technology is one which is very energy intensive. And w I would rather us invest in more forward-leaning technologies, uh, in, in improved centrifuges, as an example, in order to, and I do think the United States would like to have an in-house in situ, a technology of our but, own. But that isn't the issue at Paducah, is it? Isn't that, no. That's going to happen in Portsmouth. No, it's going to happen so in Portsmouth. So in Paducah, the issue is, will we re-enrich the tails and actually make money for the government, mm -hmm. or if we aren't going to do that, will the government pay for a cleanup? Because we've been getting the cleanup funding on an annual basis, but there's apparently no plan in your budget uh, for cleanups after the operation cease. So under this scenario, as it strikes me, the government loses an opportunity for revenue. We lose 1,200 jobs, and you're not funding the cleanup, which would cost you money, whereas re-enriching the tails would actually gain the government money. Is that Am I correctly understanding? Uh, yes and no. I mean, uh, certainly it, it's going to be, it will be our obligation to clean up uh, uh, if, if, if and when uh, Paducah closes down. 
but the, that depleted uranium will be there. Uh, and again, to go forward in the most cost-effective way, if there is a technology that can uh, mo more effectively enrich those tails, we'd be more biased to doing that. The, but the, certainly we have an obligation to, uh, sh you know, if this is finalized, we would have an obligation to, to clean up that plant. When are we going to see the plan? Um, well, um, we can work, we can get back to you and your staff on that. Well, you know, we've got 1,200 employees sitting there right. wondering if they're going to be without a job. And I understand it's a tough time for everyone. Unemployment's high in Kentucky. Yeah. But here you've got an opportunity to continue 1,200 people working, actually raise revenue for the government by re-enriching these tails. And what I think I hear you saying is, You've got no plan for either contingency at the moment. Is that correct? Right now, uh, we have to make very, very hard decisions given the budget reality. And as uh, Chairman Feinstein said, you know, the, we, we don't expect our um, Congress to give us our proposed budget. Um, we need to work. Well, how many of your tough decisions give you an opportunity to actually raise revenue? This, well, we are actually raising revenue on as you mentioned, <laughs> on the USEC side for the same, for the same reason. And so it's, it's raising revenue in the most cost-effective way. Uh, and um, we're always about, uh, we'd always like to um, raise revenue. Uh, and so, but we're, remember, we're at this limit of 10%. Well, I, <laughs> not a very satisfying answer for if you're a, an employee in Western uh, Kentucky. Um, I, I think I've correctly heard you uh, that you have no plan to re-enrich the tails and you have currently not intended to budget, at least according to our figures, by 2014, you're not even going to meet the annual cleanup needs that have been met on an annual basis at the, at the plant and have no uh, current plan for addressing the shortfall. We can look at the cleanup issue, but again, the, you know, the tails are still there. And it's not as though we're either going to move on it next year or the year after. Now, I understand that, but you, right. you start re-enriching them now, you still employ 1,200 people, right. and the government right. makes money. You leave them sitting there, mm -hmm. then you've got the cleanup obligation, which costs you money. Mm -hmm. I'm curious as to why you think this makes sense. Because um, if we do this enrichment with this old and now it's, it is a very energy consuming technology that was developed during World War II and there are better technologies that we would like to use and develop and, and develop in house, uh, in house meaning in the United States. And so again, it's a decision with our limited budget. So you'd rather make the, make the money later than make the money now? Well, I go back to we can enrich it now, but then we can't make the money because we can't release it on the market. Um, because of already what's being put in place uh, with USEC. Senator, well, uh, thank you very much, I, Madam. I've Chairman. tried to be as liberal as possible. No, I appreciate time. it very much. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much.